I was a fan of Blue Note Records since I was 14 years old in 1966. That's when I bought my first Blue Note album, Mode for Joe by Joe Henderson. And the thing that appealed to me as a teenager and still appeals to me now, by the way, the music is incredible, of course, and has incredible integrity, incredible musicality and depth of harmony and rhythm and all the things you, you look for in greatness. But it represented more than that. You know, those the album covers had an ethos to them that was uh, echoed in the photographs of Francis Wolf. I just wanted to be a part of that. It represented freedom combined with artistic integrity and excellence and coolness, incredible coolness, right? <laughs> In every generation of Blue Note recording artists, the records that really stood the test of time were made by guys who had absorbed the essence, the fundamentals of everything that had come before them and then used that knowledge to create something brand new. And really, I can't think of any guys better than Gerald Clayton or Joe Ross or Kendrick Scott or Emmanuel Wilkins or Matt Brewer to accomplish that. Blue Note has been such a, a wonderful home for the community, for incredible musicians, for creativity, for all these years. To be a part of that is something really special. You can't help but think about all of those masters, all of those heroes that you've grown up listening to. I and mean, that's certainly the case for me, listening to Wayne and, and Herbie and all these cats, you know, just trying to soak up everything that they've contributed to the music. To get a chance to look back and pay tribute and try to carry some of that essence forward is truly just an honor. Well, I urge everybody who loves music to come on out and catch the, the Blue Note 85th uh, Quintet. From what I know of these players, they're going to do it differently every single night. Every night you see some guys up on a high wire without a net, try, trying to find new roads into the songs and taking the music in, in a new direction. Every show is going to be unique. What I love about all of these guys is that despite their incredible technical knowledge and proficiency, they all play from the heart first. They're telling stories uh, through, through their instruments. If you come to these shows, you'll be moved, you'll be touched, and uh, you'll come out of there feeling better than when you went in. <laughs>